when your plate is completely stained, that's when you know that you've made the perfect party rice dish. Last year, my whole family was stuck at home and we had been eating the same thing over and over again and it was just time to switch things up. When I make this dish, it reminds me of amazing time with family. It makes me so happy and just sparks a lot of joy and memory and that's why I love making this dish. For this dish, we drew inspiration from West African food. I was exposed to this culture by my stepdad and his community, and that's kind of how we landed, you know, it's time to go to West Africa. If you're from an African household, you know that people love to contribute to what you're making, and that's kind of how you'd see this dish as a chaotic mix and match of everything. It's because while we were all at home, everyone was there in the kitchen, everyone thought, oh, you should add this, oh, you should add this. And so that's how this dish came into the making. Eating this dish is quite frankly uh, a mix and an explosion of flavor in your mouth. From the apple infused sausages to the amazing chicken thighs and the rich tomato sauce that is used to cook this dish. And then when we're finished with that, we slightly toast the rice. That's a tip I got from Chef Kwame Onwaji on toasting the rice to make sure that when the dish is finished, the rice comes out individually. You know you've made this dish well when your plate is completely stained and you can't get that stain off for a couple of days. That's when you know that you've made the perfect party rice dish. So when you're eating this dish, I just want you to have fun with friends and family. Feel comfortable, feel, you know, at ease and yeah, just share it with your community and have some fun. There's nothing wrong in spoiling yourself with an amazing party rice dish, but it's even better when you share it with your friends and family. I mean, as soon as you're cooking the dish, there's so much aroma filled in the house. When you taste the food, there's a good mix and blend of each and every single thing. You can find the recipe on jikoni.co. And when you do make the recipe, be sure to use the hashtag myjikoni and tag us so we can see your amazing creations.